Hello, this is the second painting in my series of three paintings entitled The Ephrastic Sonata. This one is entitled Silver. Like the other paintings, there is a unifying visual theme that is repeated throughout all three. The painting of The Death of Thomas Chatterton by Henry Wallace. In this particular painting, uh, the arm of the poet Chatterton imposes itself into this painting. It seems to lean from this strange black circle in the sky, almost like an anti-sun. But actually these circles are holes because this painting, like the others in this series, were inspired by poems and it's uh, so it's an ephrastic painting. And um, this particular poem was entitled Silver in homage to a silver cigarette lighter and these holes and this entire sky represents the silver finish of a standard Ronson cigarette lighter which has holes drilled into the metal. Because it's a painting about memories of youth we have a contrast between an old face and a young face. Um, the poem itself is about reminiscence of smoking and so we have a distant city, uh, an American city, it was, it was actually written um, sort of in homage to American culture and we have objects that are leaning towards the past almost to add a sense of temporality using dimensionality to convey time passing. Because of time passing there's lots of wrinkles, lots of crackles and lots of things that indicate both age and the crunching of information as time proceeds. The smoking area is all dark grainy. The whole painting is rather greyish on that side, rather coloured on that side. Again, this is a psychological tool to indicate a difference between present and past. Things that are grey or blurry in our unconscious indicate something that's past or forgotten or something less important than something that's crisp and bright and coloured. It is for this reason that uh, all surrealist paintings are very highly detailed. It's because they're all about current mental images, clear mental images. There's no such thing as um, impressionist surrealism because impressionism is all about roughness. Surrealism is all about a clearly defined reality, something that's even more real than reality. That's the root of the word itself.